especially on Twitter, I keep seeing these words civil war thrown around. And I think people are throwing them around in a way um, in this sort of meme culture almost, or maybe lightheartedly, but how realistic do you think the concept of a, a civil war in America is? Unfortunately, I think it's actually fairly likely. And the reason that I say that is that people are engaged in a behavior that we know historically accompanies the march toward war and genocide. And that is to say, when people start discussing their, uh, their detractors, their antagonists, as if they were subhuman, not deserving of human respect, as if they were vermin or disease riddled, that the next thing that happens is they go after each other. This is the way that, uh, that lineages prepare to destroy each other um, in a fashion that we have seen many times through history. So the fact of the rhetoric marching in that direction in the US and in the West suggests that that process is actually underway. Now the question is, can it be reversed? This is why some of us are focused on the idea of unity. It is why the idea that um, all cops are bastards, for example, is one that we have to oppose in the strongest possible terms. As soon as people find license to dismiss an entire group of humans on the basis that they are um, not worthy of being considered as individuals, we are simply in grave danger. For the individual, and they're thinking, what can I do? What difference can I make? How can I start to reverse this um, potential civil war? What would you encourage the, the individual to do? Well, there is a, I, I hesitate to call it a game, but there is an activity that I find very rewarding that I think increasingly is something other, others might adopt, which is very frequently there'll be some divide between you and another person that is supposed to be unbridgeable. I'm an evolutionary biologist. It is supposed to be the case that I cannot talk to a creationist or uh, a proponent of intelligent design because the gap is simply too big. But if one sets the objective of finding the humanity in someone across one of these large gaps, it's amazing how frequently one can cross that bridge and how rewarding it is once one does it. So I would say tune in to people on the other side of whatever divide you see and give them the benefit of the doubt and see if you can't figure out how things look through their eyes. Now I would give one caution, which is there are bad people in the world. You don't want to give a sociopath license by extending um, an expectation that they want the same things that everyone else wants. You have to be cautious that when you encounter a bad actor that you have some mechanism to get back across the bridge. But in general, most people are not motivated by ill intent. Most people are starting from a very different set of priors and they arrive at a different conclusion and uh, you can find their humanity if you go looking for it.